Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I've been away for a while, I got a bit distracted by work, but I'm back now. And in this video, I want to talk about downloading a carrier and how to take off and land. <music> Okay, so uh, this time we're going to look to uh, download the carrier, George H.W. Bush. And I'll talk about, well, how to find it once you've downloaded it, how to use it. And a useful app that will allow you to um, install a launch capability and also a, um, a tail hook to stop you going off the end of the ship when you land. Enjoy. So we're going to download uh, an aircraft carrier. So if we go into the marketplace, search on carrier, uh, four carriers come up and also it uh, also has a hit in the top gun maverick program. I downloaded the George H. W. Bush um, carrier and you can see here, it's actually amazing. It, it um, it's in seven locations initially, static locations in uh, Microsoft flight simulator but it's rather cool if you email them for free and um, they'll add it to a location of your uh, choosing now it comes with some software which i'll talk about later where you can add a launch bar and a uh, hook the carrier is designed to work with the f-35 uh, lightning if you put an f-35 again in the search the lightning comes up you can download it India Foxtrot Echo it's worth noting there are some systems on this aircraft that don't work and it has no uh, weapon or arm armament um, modes uh, included the carrier will also work I think with the F-18 and some of the other core aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. As I mentioned earlier, the um, the separate add-on can provide a uh, a launcher and a hook. the uh, The link is in the Microsoft Flight Simulator download page, but also if you go into Sim Market, you can see the link. Click on the link and download the software and click open file or run. It'll appear on your desktop and you'll just need to confirm that you do want to run that software. Once it opens, there's a connect button at the top. Uh, you can pin it. You see the pin in the top left hand corner and there are two tabs, catapult and tail hook. Uh, this bit is a, a bit I thought would be really useful. I really couldn't find the carrier. It took me about 10 minutes, quarter of an hour uh, to find it, searching on all of the locations. And you simply need to put in UGB and then the number of the location that you want. In this case, we're going to start in Norfolk, UGB 1. And we'll add that for the departure and the uh, landing location so for the connect application when the carrier opens you're on the deck you can actually take off from here but I recommend that you uh, taxi forward you can see ahead of you there the two launch catapults at the front of the deck of the ship. So don't over rev it, move forward. And I pick the left hand uh, catapult. Just taxi over to the catapult. Once you're lined up with the catapult, um, stop the aircraft and handbrake on. That's a requirement for the launch app.
really great uh, graphics on this uh, aircraft carrier. I definitely recommend it. And when you're ready to go, what you need to do is just um, go back to the launch app, click launch, uh, click the little pin in the top and then click anywhere in the simulator and the app will disappear. Then um, increase the throttle, brakes off and you're good to go. Once you're in a stable climb, gear up. So for the landing, if you do a circuit, a left hand circuit, go out as far as the end of the bay and come back then towards the carrier. You can see the carrier here in the middle of the uh, estuary. We want to line up with the carrier and we want to allow the speed to bleed off to somewhere around uh, 200 initially. Now we want to deploy the tail hook, so pin the carrier launcher on the tab for tail hook, deploy tail hook. If you don't deploy the tail hook, then you'll probably go off the end of the carrier and end up with a go around or perhaps even um, in the sea. So now we want to stabilize, we want to stay around 100 and, well I found about 100 and uh, 50, 155 uh, knots. Don't chase the nose. The nose is the uh, little round, um, so the circle with the line through. You want to trim the nose so that it's just on or just above uh, the deck. But don't chase it backwards and forwards, up and down, otherwise, you'll be all over the place like a roller coaster. Use the power to adjust the speed Now you can taxi over, you can see the crewman on the right hand side beckoning you into the, uh, the hatched area. The carrier really is um, well made, graphics are pretty good. Now uh, you can see around the deck um, animated crewman and what have you and it's really worth in my view downloading. Okay. Uh, that's all I've got for you in this video. If you liked it, uh, please like it, subscribe if you want to be notified when other videos are uploaded. Um, leave any comments, I'd love to hear from you and I'll catch you next time.